If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the best players at each position in Madden 20 that you guys need to be picking up right now. Hey, right, guys, you know how I do this video? Through the auction block, I got one by one through each position. Offensive line, we usually go pretty quickly because, of course, when it comes to linemen, it comes down to kind of just who has the current release because linemen stats typically go like that. In the earlier days, not exactly, but as we get towards the end of the year, it's kind of how it works. Now, I did open up a Hail Mary pack. I did play Weekend League this weekend. I played three games. I won three games. I got a Hail Mary pack. It was a good time. Want to see if I still had it. And, of course, I had it still, but my team is not exactly up to par, so it seems I was seeing kind of ridiculous. But I relied on my old Madden ways, and I got through it a little bit. But, step number three, auction block, get into this video, because this can take quite a while at times. Now guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the button, boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, like the video, comment down below, let me know who you would change from my list, of course. Now, starting at quarterback, I'm going to give you my 1A and 1B, obviously, you guys, if you've been following the channel, you know this already. So when it comes to 1A at quarterback, in my opinion, and I don't even know if it's 1A, I honestly sometimes think it's just 1 overall. Guys, in my opinion, Lamar Jackson's the best quarterback in Madden. Best thrower, best runner, best everything combo. He can do everything. He's pretty much an overall player in general. I personally think Lamar Jackson's the move. You can get human joystick on him. You can get a skate artist on him. You can get dashing dead eye on him. And I believe, depending on your next ability, there's a few options you can go here, but he has some really good options. Now, I really like Lamar Jackson. I think he's the best one. Also, personally, I'm a fan of Lamar Jackson, so it also probably adds to some bias there. But the Michael Vick, I think he's 1B. But as you can clearly see here, he has worse throwing stats, and he's slightly slower. The speed doesn't really bother me too much as the sprint and everything and get there, but he does have worse throwing stats. So if you get a faster guy and better throwing stats, you can probably see why there's an advantage there to picking him up. Of course, Michael Vick's super cheap now, but you can also get one for free from the solo. So that's why I'm probably leaning towards a quarterback, uh, leaning towards Lamar Jackson, that is, when it comes to my golden ticket choices. Now at running back. Okay, guys, so again, I'm going to give you a 1A option. Now, 1A is going to be Bo Jackson, of course, because he is going to be a golden ticket. And he is the best one by far. He's 99 everything. Now, here's the thing with Bo Jackson. A lot of running backs have similar stats. It all just depends on abilities. So, Bo's able to get evasive and able to get bruiser. Like, the, you know, the combination of power and evasive. Now, Bo Jackson 99 everything, of course. Now, if you want to get someone who's very similar, there are a few guys dropped. Now, Walter Payton honestly isn't too far off if chemmed up and uh, adjusted properly he gets similar stats while actually being a better catcher the only thing is he will probably more than likely not get some of the stuff you're looking for he might not get every single ability you're looking for so you're gonna have to check him you have to go through his abilities now i do believe he gets human joystick which does make him very very good because he when you power him up he gets to 99 uh, jody so he does get human joystick, so he's going to be very similar to Bo. He just might not get all the power stuff. But if you want a budgety version of Bo Jackson, Walter Payton is your guy. Now I'm going to be skipping over four. These players you will see in today's video, considering these are the best players in Madden, and you want to pick up any of these guys, make sure to head over to my sponsor, MMOEXP. Use code Poodle for 5% off, guys. They got the cheapest coins on the internet. Literally anywhere right now. You could probably pick up most of the, almost every player I say on this for a very small cost a lot less than you guys think it is super cheaper cheap right now because it is the end of the madden season make sure to pick up enjoy the deals great sales and that's about it guys enjoy the video back at this point in the year you can really just rock whatever benefits you there now wide receiver there's three clear cut options here so first there's julio there's randy moss and if you're really looking for a solid solid third it really just depends on your play style so i think julio is 1a i think moss is 1b and I personally think Michael Irvin is number three because of his just pure price, benef uh, how beneficial his price is. So Julio can do everything. Going to get great abilities, his golden ticket, obviously. Everything's going to be maxed out around 99. He has the speed, the catch, and the route running, and the height. And he can even do stuff when he has the ball in his hand. So that's pretty awesome. When it comes to Randy Moss, I mean, guys, it's Moss. You know the deal. He's actually pretty cheap at this point in the year. Going to have 99 speed. Going to have almost 99 catching. Going to be lower in the route running than Julio, but still great. And he's going to be six foot four. Just going to have two tall monsters. Now, Coming last, I can't show you your stats, but Michael Irvin, fully powered up, power expansion. Looks like one of these 99 overall receivers, like one of these best ones here. And he's going to be pretty cheap because he's a power expansion. So, highly recommend you give him a check out. And if not, you know, your guys, the Tory Holt we get it really isn't that bad. I really don't mind using him for certain scenarios if you guys want to be cost efficient. But I really think Michael Irvin's great. Coming in at tight end. Now, tight end, there's a few options here as well. Now, for me, 
I mean, obviously, you got Zach Gentry just being golden tickets, nice and all. You could always rock with him. I think he's great. Great catching, great route running, great speed. Now, this new Gronk, I didn't think really... I think it... I think it's good. I think it's very similar to Zach Gentry if you really compare the two. Similar in height. A little less route running. Similar catching enough. Better run blocking. And he's a lot cheaper if you really want to go that route. So if you want like a budgety version of Gentry, you can always go Rob Gronk. Or stick with uh, Zach Gentry. It really just comes down to your personal preference on what you read that you want. Better run blocking. Guys, left tackle, like I said, it's going to be the best ones here. So Joe Thomas or Andrew Thomas, it's all, it's all about cost. I'd probably go Joe Thomas, though, considering the cost right now. Left guard, Randall McDaniel, to me, is probably the best one. Joe Thune is good, but his run blocking isn't too great. While Randall McDaniel is more of a well-rounded one with better run blocking, which it's a run-heavy year this year, so probably prefer the run blocking anyways. We don't have a 98, 99 overall center yet, unless you do the power expansion uh, center. So make sure you're going ahead and go power up expansion to White Stevenson, because he is going to be the best option for center right now. And he should be pretty cost efficient because he's a power up expansion. Right guard, Larry Allen's by far the best one, guys. Uh, he's an LTD though, so you might want to power pass him or wait for his redux, but by far that is the best one. Finally, we got a right guard and a right tackle. We probably do have a power up expansion for this one, but I was rocking with Dan Diedorf. I personally think Dan Diedorf is going to be the best one here. And he's pretty cheap. He shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, 65k. I recommend Dan Diedorf. He's pretty solid. Now let's move on to the defensive side of the ball. This is where things are a little bit more interesting depending on uh, you know, player preference. Offense, you know, stats are stats, but on defense, sometimes it comes down to the way you run your defense. At left end, Reggie White is the best one on paper, but people say he doesn't play that well. So if you're not a guy that thinks that Reggie White plays that well, I personally think honestly, I thought Chase Young was pretty good. The only issue is gonna be the abilities and the powering up. But I would probably go with Michael Strand at that point similar to reggie white not as great but he's going to have a great power move great block shit great play right gonna be athletic six for five and you save almost a million coins so i think it's justifiable to go that route coming on over to right end guys there's one guy that i still just love for right now if you guys want a cost efficient option you probably want to go in my opinion with aaron donald now if you want a cheap cheap option that's a little bit better i think that bruce smith a slightly upgraded aaron donald in my opinion and now he's not slightly upgraded because right now on paper, Aaron Donald's better. You can see it. Aaron Donald's better right here. But you have to remember that Bruce Smith can still be powered up and Aaron Donald cannot. So Aaron Donald really hasn't gotten that many cards this year considering that he hasn't gotten the cards in January. They'll probably give him like a power up expansion, just a plus one overall. But you guys look at it here. Aaron Donald's better, but if you get Bruce Smith upgraded, he does have the same strength. He does have a better excel. He has a way better tackle. He'll have the same play rec. He'll have a better block shot, a better power move, and the same finesse move. Now, even then, he's still slower than Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald still chemmed up. It's going to be like the same card, but Bruce Smith will be a better overall for your team, and he will end up being a 99 for you guys if, that, if you guys are one of those people who want to have all 99s. Defensive tackle, um, John Randall, Mean Joe Green. It's really just, it's really just preference based. So, uh, Mean Joe Green, maxed out power, uh, block shot powered up. We'll have a maxed out power move. Decently athletic. John Randall will have slight, will have less power move, less block shed. Will be slightly more athletic, in my opinion. And he has better finesse move. So if you want finesse and less block shed and a little bit more athletic, go John Randall. <clears throat> Personally, I'm taking me Joe Green here as my guy who I'll be taking on my team if I was choosing right now. Left us a linebacker. Okay, so if you guys are a, if you guys rush your left us a linebacker, you're going Brian Burns here. Brian Burns gonna end up having like a 97 speed on your team, which is absurd. 99 finesse move, 99 play rec. 99 block should be a phenomenal outside line, rushing outside linebacker. Going to be amazing with the great abilities. Now, if you are a if you put your outside linebacker in coverage, you're going to want to go here. He has 99 play record, 99 block shit, so he can't stop the run. He can't stop. He can he recognizes plays. He'll be super fast, and he gets pass coverage abilities. In my opinion, you're going you're going Anthony Barr if you get if you're a pass guy, pass coverage guy. But if you're a rusher, go Brian Burns. Now Anthony Barr is a tad bit cheaper. But it also comes down to scheme and what you guys do. Middle linebacker. Middle linebacker's tough. So if you guys got the coin shot, I think Troy Polamalu is the greatest middle linebacker I've seen in a while. Just you can't beat it. Gonna force fumbles. Gonna outrun wide receivers. Gonna play better zone than cornerbacks. You, you, can't, you can't beat those stats. But if you guys are on a more budgety option right now, Patrick Wills is still an amazing, amazing option. Despite that, he doesn't have the zone coverage. So you're probably gonna want to use him. Unlike uh, Polamalu. I mean, you probably want to use him too. But you can leave him go because of his zone. But this Patrick Willis will have close to a 98. I think no, I think he will have a 98 speed if you have everything. John Madden and Sprinter. So he's going to be super fast, just as fast, slightly slower than Trip Palmalo by one, but have just great, great linebacker stats. He's a pure linebacker. Obviously, Palmalo, 
as a safety at linebacker. That's a golden ticket, so kind of makes the stats look a little bit more absurd than they should be. Right linebacker, set it and forget it. Lawrence Taylor, where you at? Right here. I think Keith Bullock's okay, but he can't pass rush. I'm going to go with Lawrence Taylor. Again, if you're not a pass rushing guy, then you go Keith Bullock, but I think Lawrence Taylor, greatest right side linebacker ever year in Madden. Set it and forget it. Maxed out stats for real. Golden ticket esque against cornerback. So for me, cornerback, obviously I'm going to give you guys three here. So for me personally, I think at this point in the year, Deion Sanders isn't as useful as you guys may think. So in past years, Deion's always been the greatest cornerback, but he has he has a few flaws. First, he sucks in the run game, which means he can't tackle. Like literally, a running back with a high with high hip power, high trucking or something, runs at Deion. Deion may slow him down, but he's breaking that tackle. Deion one on one in the flats always gets tackles broken on him. He can't hit stick, and he can't press. Now him not being able to press really messes things up because if you want to press blitz or something or slow slow a route down. Deion can't press, and if you press him because you're, oh, I got Jalen Ramsey, I pressed him, you forget Deion's on the other side, he gets cooked. So Deion's been kind of a liability this year, specifically, he's been a liability in the past, but we're in a very run-heavy meta, so he's specifically a liability. And this year, if you press and you don't have a good press, you will get cooked instantly. Even guys with good press can get cooked. So in my opinion, I think right now, for cornerbacks, I have three. I like Jalen Ramsey, I like Night Train Lane, and I, I like Mike Evans. People don't like Mike Evans, but I personally think those are my three right there. Now, the reasoning behind that is, they're going to be three tall physical corners. Jalen Ramsey, good hit power, maxed out coverage. We'll have maxed out speed. We'll have maxed out press, maxed out player. He's going to be a maxed out car, but good, with good hit power and tall. Mike Evans, super tall, maxed out everything again. And I don't know about his hit power, but it's not horrible. It's not, it's not great. But that's why he'd be my third guy. My first two would be Nitro Lane and him. Nitro Lane would have close, wouldn't have the best stats, but he can. He has deep, the thing about Nitro Lane, he's his, his speed, it won't be as crazy as the other guys. His speed will end up being like a 97, 98, but that's still amazing. His zone and man will be slightly lower, and his press will be slightly lower, and his play rec, but he ends up getting what most other cards don't. He ends up with a 95 or 96 hit power, and the ability to intercept the ball and take it back like a running back, just like Dion. It's kind of like if you took Dion and put him on a card with better press and took a little bit of athleticism away. I personally think Nitro Lane, Jalen Ramsey, and Mike Evans kind of the squad right now. Free safety. Uh, So... This is a preference thing again. So I personally love Brian Dawkins. He's just a pure free safety to me. I've never been a fan of out of position players, but on paper, Calvin probably is the best free safety because he's six foot five. He's gonna have maxed out speed, maxed out zone, great man, and great hit power and great play rec. While Brian Dawkins loses five inches of height while still being similar in all those things. Now Brian Dawkins is a better coverage guy. He's a better safety in general. He's a better safety, but the stats you got here, you lose five inches. So. If you value those five inches over stats, you go Calvin Johnson. But if you value stats and pure free safety and you just want him, you go Brian Dawkins. And Brian Dawkins is probably better in the run game anyways. But it really just depends on what you prefer. If you are if you like to use your safety, if you're going to use your safety, probably go Calvin. If you're going to let your safety, if you're going to let your safety sit, probably go Brian Dawkins. But it's up to you guys again. Strong safety coming down here. We got Taylor Mays. Now, Taylor Mays, obviously still expensive. So if you always want a budgety guy, you can always go Ed Reed. But Taylor Mays is just phenomenal. Max that hit power. Gonna have great zone. Gonna have great man. Gonna have max that speed. Honestly, looking at this card now, it's a little bit worse than some of the other golden tickets when you really look at it, considering his man's not all the way up there and his play rack's only 95, but still a great card. Now, people will ask for kicker because people get really angry when I don't do a kicker, so let's drop that in there real quick. Kicker, there you go. Jan Stenerud. And if you want like a budgeted option, you can go Zane Gonzalez, team of the year, because he still has a good kick power. And then punter, Ray Guy. Although I would not recommend between those two spending a million coins on a special teams players, but that's up to you guys. Well, guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think and any add or feel free to complain about any players in the description down below or comments, I should say. But that's about it, guys. I'm out. Peace.